Learning Objective 2, government programs. As we mentioned before, the SBA, the Small Business Administration, is charged by Congress to take care of small business, both in creating incentives and support for the formation of small businesses, and once they're underway, to support that they don't fail. And this is a often not understood aspect of the U.S. economy. We are driven by not public companies and publicly traded companies. We are driven by small business. So this is an essential part of the economy, even though it doesn't get the press or get coverage in the Wall Street Journal. So the SBA is an important cog in the wheel of the U U.S. economy. And they supply both credit and capital, both equity and debt. And they are, their main product is a SBA loan, which is actually a loan guarantee by the SBA to a lender, a normal commercial lender like a bank. And their objective and why it's such a big deal for the U.S. government and Congress is it creates jobs. These are jobs from small businesses, and as they grow, they hire more people. So this is why it's considered an engine to the economy. Now, there are some limited equity programs that look somewhat like venture capital. They're not funded by institutional investors, as VCs are, but they do have low-cost funds from the U.S. government, which enable people to form these investment funds and make investments of a combination of their money and government money to help start new businesses. We'll talk more about the specifics in a slide or two. We also work with other regulatory agencies so that the SBA is in combination with others to provide a package of services that make it, again, tenable for a company to grow and be successful and hire people. And one of the main things that I mentioned is the SBA helps you get a loan because large banks like Bank of America or Wells Fargo will likely have active SBA programs in your geographic area. There are some levels of management assistance. They will have classes, they'll have guidelines, they'll have all types of aids. They may even support, in some cases, Excel spreadsheets to help you do analysis. So the SBA is quite active in, again, educating and helping grow and helping existing companies so that they survive and succeed. And finally, there are asset sales programs that, if need be, they're facilitating how you would be able to liquidate some of your assets. Okay, SBA programs. As mentioned, there are debt and other finance-related items, and that's the SBA loan. This is a surety bond. This is a guarantee for the integrity of the employees inside of a company. Next, there are procurement programs where the federal government buys a lot of things, and they may say, we're going to give an, an advantage to companies that are small businesses or are backed by SBA programs or some other restriction. So since the government is also a purchaser of goods and services, they can tip the, the odds in the favor of their small business clients by giving them advantages in bid situations. R&D. There are many R&D programs that are funded not even by the SBA sometimes, but the SBA may help you find out about these programs for organizations like the National Institute for Health or other specific uh, agriculture programs. And the SBA might help you find those so that you can serve a need that exists in the country for the government or other people and to be able to receive grants that support the development of new technologies and formulations in this area. There's also training and consulting. The SBA has offices and they also marshal volunteer efforts of retired people or people who are experts in fields that want to give back for, to the SBA program to spur small business. And there's information services. There's lots of websites these days, but also lots of resources that enable you to learn more or be connected with others that can help you. Then there's advocacy to help you when you're in trouble, to be able to make your case, whether it's a legal uh, lawsuit or an argument to qualify for a particular program. Disaster, when it occurs, may be also supported by the SBA. So when a hurricane hits New Orleans, the SBA may came, come in and delay the, rec the receipt of some of their previously made loans or may make further loans to help in the recovery effort. And there could be specific groups of people that are helped by the SBA. And examples of these might be veterans where they come back from doing service for the country and they're given some preferential rates or access to loans to help them start businesses. Or to exporters because we're trying to 
affect the balance of trade. We tend to import more than we export, so we want to increase exports. So that is another group that may be assisted. Or Native Americans. The Native Americans have had many challenges for since they, the reservations were formed, and we're always trying to find ways to help the Native Americans so that they can have a more decent life than what they've had for decades or or a hundred years uh, in the United States. Then there's small and disadvantaged businesses. So these could be um, based on the owners of the businesses or those serving particular niche communities in need in the U.S. government or U.S. economy. So these are another group that's aided. And finally, women. There's a whole set of programs that help spur the entrepreneurship for women in the United States. These are specific programs. The asterisk here is you don't have to memorize these. It's just to give an example of how does the government get money out. So the one that's most common is the 7A loan, and these are the ones I allude to. These are the loans made to a business through a bank. The government will guarantee up to 85% of the loan value, depending on the nature of the loan and the population served. For uh, 504s, these are development companies for business needs, and they're also subject to government guarantees for the, the bank that is working on these programs. Microloans, these are for not-for-profit or government organizations that provide very small loans for very small businesses, microfinance for micro entrepreneurs. Venture capital, these are the of the four. This is the one that's equity oriented and it's done through the SBIC, Small Business Investment Corporation or a MESBIC, Minority Enterprise Small Business Investment Corporation. These are funded by the government through preferred stock investments into the SBIC to supplement investments by the shareholders so that they have more capital at lower rates of return required so they can make loans on an equity basis. And there are many other agencies in the government that they give grants or do support for various reasons and objectives. And the most common is taxes. The most aggressive state in the United States is Texas. You probably know about Austin, Texas, which is a magnet for companies leaving Silicon Valley. Texas loves to have high-tech firms relocating parts of high-tech companies in Austin for back office or manufacturing or R&D in some cases so that they can create jobs and employment and economic welfare into the state of Texas. And they're the most aggressive and very been very successful in having companies do relocations into Texas.